Hello, hello. You say you're moving on, you watch save me 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 You say you're moving on, you want to leave me I don't know what I have done wrong The morning and the stars I'm giving to you But you are asking for the sun You say you're moving on, you want to leave me I don't know what I have done wrong The morning and the stars I'm giving to you But you are asking for the sun Oh, 
never be grateful I feel you wanted something When you found it, you found your way out, girl After all that I did for you You will never be good to me You can find your way out, baby I don't care whether or not you leave Yo. Hey, Wallace. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, it's all good. How are you? Hey, 
uh, yeah, it's been great. Um, why do I only hear your voice only to my left? That's an excellent question. Um, let's see. Maybe. Okay, is it better now? Should be better now, I think. It's kind of the same. Um, hmm. Yeah, the mic was selected as mono first, but I removed it, so it should be like stereo, <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. Hmm. That's kind of annoying. Uh, you're normal on the other stream. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of new to streaming. Maybe I missed doing something. I'm not sure. Kind of strange. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can show you some stuff about the track if you want to. Is there something? especially want to see or want me to show it. Um, usually I do like uh, track breakdown, break, breakdowns that I record on YouTube. And yeah, I'm not like always sure what people want to see. So do you have any suggestions or something? Kind of anything particular? <laughs> Maybe like Bob breakdown system last the pocket. Okay, let's see. I have I have two projects, so let's see. So this should be the instrumental, let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Do I need to do it like this? Okay, now I think you should see the instrumental project. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, I see it. Okay, nice. Um, because, I mean, I have like a MSI gaming laptop, but even though like my computer can't handle like all the processing stuff. I'm not sure if like maybe I add too much stuff, but I had to like bounce everything to audio. So yeah, but this is the Easter drop uh, in the latest project. Let's see. Okay, it's like a delay. This is super interesting. Um, why? Okay, I think it's good. So how, how's the volume? Is it like super low or is it fine? My opinion. <laughs> so yeah, this is the instrumental project. Um, I had to like mix the vocals separately because yeah, <laughs> it just doesn't work to like play everything together. So I have like the raw vocal here, I think. 
but yeah, it's just like the first recording. But yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, maybe you can just check out the drums, maybe. Kind of basic house pattern, I guess. Uh, cool percussion stuff like percussion loops I think everything fits really well together then like in the break has some other tiny stuff like filtering the kick and yeah <laughs> a lot more other stuff in the second drop of course and yeah always like the last part of the last drop i always like add usually like more rides and stuff like crashes like bright elements, I guess, just to add more energy to make it, yeah, <laughs> the biggest part of the song. And yeah, um, how do you process synths and stuff? I stopped mixing. Um, yeah, synths. Uh, I don't have like really many synths in just this track, but I mean like uh, See if you just take like a channel, I think Usually kind of basic stuff. I kind of just cut everything Probably below 150 Hertz and then Maybe if I have like a vocal, maybe I cut some stuff around 3000, 2000 to make like kind of space for it. Um, yeah, what do I do else? If I want something to kind of pop out a bit more, I usually use some saturation like Fab Filter Saturn. And I think it was like Mo Falk or someone else that kind of said or showed me or yeah i'm not sure somewhere at least maybe like using multiple like saturns instead of like maybe cranking it to 80 percent you maybe use two or three on like a lower percent so that's something i've been trying to do to make it pop a bit more and maybe not like destroy the sound the sound more like i don't know create like harmonics and yeah, make it sound more fat and pleasing, I guess. Uh, and yeah, it kind of depends on what, what kind of sound also. If it's like a plucky short sound, I sometimes use like a transient shaper, like a drum shaper to make it like click more or like add attack. <laughs> it's crank up to the full. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can do that. It kind of depends on what kind of song or like style you make, I guess. But yeah, <laughs> there are like no rules. And yeah, sometimes I use OTT to like bring out some high end. And I think I also like tried Fresh Air. It's like a free plugin from, I think it's Slate Digi Digital. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you can just try whatever that might work, <laughs> I guess. And yeah, and also like stereo imaging, I think is kind of important. I always use like the stereo shaper in FL Studio. So like the stereo right, stereo eyes two presets and make it kind of super wide with like 10 milliseconds or something so it gets kind of pushed to the side but I kind of feel that it's still it's still maintaining like some presence in the mids 
um, because so many people are like uh, listen to music on their phones but most so uh, phones these days usually play in stereo or at least i heard but i mean it's still important to have a good sounding song in mono i guess so yeah so i mean i don't think there's like any super science to it just like with good leveling and panning and kind of basic eq <laughs> you you yeah come quite far i think everything i mean it's kind of boring but like everyone is saying probably the same thing like that sound needs to have that space in the mix etc and uh, yeah not interfering with 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 each other so yeah it's kind of hard uh yeah hard to say exactly i mean it's different for every song so i think this is probably the most synth thing i have in this song and this is playing the break so yeah cut it at 100 hertz saturn <laughs> ott more distortion yeah and i used the drum shaper too this kind of crazy setting and then yeah i think it was cashmere that showed me this plugin it's from yeah what are they called yeah voxengo maybe you use span i mean like everyone is using span i think but i don't think this uh, plugin is as known but i think it's really nice if you have like something that makes the sound kind of weak in the middle or like in the mids you can like boost the mids or if you have too much mids you can yeah lower it I think I probably used it most on vocals when I use like what's it called a uh, little Al alter boy you know to change the format because if you sometimes I don't understand why but sometimes it does it but sometimes it doesn't because if you like lower the format or something the stereo it's like adding like a chorus or like a stereo effect to the sound so yeah it kind of loses power in the mids and if you then play it maybe on your phone or some other device that isn't that like stereo focused uh, yeah the vocal is like gone in the mix manipulate is better in my opinion yeah exactly uh, so i kind of stopped using little alter boy it's kind of annoying because it's like sometimes it seems to work, sometimes it doesn't seem to work. So it's kind of weird. But yeah, I kind of feel it's kind of annoying to just buy manipulator to just get format stuff. But yeah, we will see if I will buy it. Uh, I have vocal synth 2 also. So I have been using the format filter here instead. I think it sounded kind of clean but yeah sometimes it doesn't work that well either so yeah maybe maybe manipulator is the best one but maybe i will buy it sometimes we will see otherwise yeah <laughs> uh, yeah so maybe I think probably one of the coolest sounds in this track is like the bass line. Did I mute? Yeah, I muted everything. I think it has a really cool character. And I think I made the bass lines in silent one it's like a sub and it's probably 3x ask i think i usually use like the simplest plugin ever for the sub 
Yeah. Yeah, that tone or like note sounding pretty weird. Yeah, but it works, I guess. This is for more like harmonic content or like, yeah, make it more present. Oh, that's a huge difference. So it works really well with the kick and I turn off the side chain. Yeah. And yeah, since I think we had the most stuff in the breaks. Pluck lead, which is in the final version, <laughs> I added in the other project. So it's a little bit annoying when it comes to like, yeah. I mean, it would be nice if we could just have one project with everything, but yeah, as of right now, it doesn't work with my computer, but yeah. <laughs> Thing. Not sure what to call it, but yeah. this is really cool. Like a vocal effect that I played around with, reversed, and yeah. Crazy build up effect. <laughs> this is deep house, right? Uh, I, I think it's always so hard to kind of judge my own songs in a genre, but yeah, I think deep house is probably the closest genre. Uh, I mean, the track is kind of slow. To be honest, I mean, it's 115, but maybe Deep House can be that slow. I'm not an expert, but yeah, I'm not really sure what it could be otherwise. So yeah, I call it Deep House. You say you're moving now. Yeah, <laughs> this is the you say you're raw vocal. So it sounds a bit different. Uh, let's see if I change it to the other project. If I turn this off. You say you're moving, no, you want to leave me. I don't know what I have done wrong. Making deep house as well these days it's kind of hard to setting the vibe right yeah yeah i mean all like the songs on like selected and similar labels they always have like such a nice vibe and like an atmosphere but yeah 
think it's a lot of with I think it may be like with the chords or like using like a lot of reverb and weird stuff in the background might really help or yeah and it's it's also like super vocal based or at least the deep house I'm listening to so a really good voice and like maybe some cool effects on the vo on the vocal will probably help a lot I think <laughs> You say you're moving on, you want to leave me I don't know what I have done wrong The morning and the stars I'm giving to you But you are asking for the sun Shadow of mine In the dark you gave up Now you're done with me, you don't want to see me eh? You wanna leave me, damn I'm tired of riding on this train Yeah, that's the pluck <laughs> Riding on this train On this train On this train I'm done bleeding On this train On this train I'm tired of riding on this train I think it's so fun to like play around with vocals and like <laughs> add weird effects. This was his voice from the start. So. I gave you everything you ever wanted, but you would never be grateful. I feel you wanted something when you found it You found your way out, girl After all that I did for you, girl You will never be good to me, girl You can find your way out, baby, girl I don't care whether or not you leave, girl Shadow of my it's a guy called Mo Mose. I hope I say his name right. Um, yeah, Mose Music. So, yeah, it's a guy <laughs> I found on Instagram. And yeah, he was just excited to make some music together. So, that's always nice. Bob. Now you're done with me, you don't want to see me, eh? delayed <laughs> um, I'm not really sure <laughs> hmm I don't I don't know why but why is streaming so hard <laughs> I don't understand sometimes uh, me and Bose was like supposed to Okay, we, we had like a feedback stream, but like the first time there was like a massive delay on both of us. But we fixed that and then I think the next time my voice was like delayed. So he like asked me something and I answered it straight away. But for like the stream, it was like 20 seconds off or something. Um, yeah, and I think the... Last time uh, we tried to go live on his channel, but Twitch wouldn't let us go live. I mean, we pressed live, but we wasn't like visible on the Twitch uh, web page. So yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm no expert, but yeah, it would be nice if, we, if it was like a bit simpler and not so technical. Damn, I'm tired of riding on this train, on this train, oh, on this train. I'm done bleeding on this train, on this train. I'm tired of riding. Yeah. See if it if it, if it's playable. Out of riding on this train, on this train, on this train. Yeah, without the limit. I'm bleeding on this train, on this train. Out of riding on this 
strain I gave you everything you ever wanted But you would never be grateful I feel you wanted something when you found it You found your way out, girl After all that I did for you You will never be good to me You can find your way out, baby I don't care whether or not you leave like the same I don't, I don't want to say like problem but my earlier songs were like kind of messy in a sense so yeah if I'm going to give you like some tips I think like making stuff shorter maybe that sounds weird but uh, especially like drums especially the kick um, let's see if I can like I use usually use LFO tool on my kick channel and maybe make it a maximum of like almost like a quarter of a beat I think it's called a quarter of a beat like somewhere here so it's like kind of super short uh, <laughs> like in my older songs it was like probably something like this and then like the bass played at like the sa exact same place and that yeah made it like super messy and yeah not so clean and also the ds10 drum shaper from yeah excellent audio i almost use this on like every percussion loop hi-hat loop or like like a high like a percussion sound in general just to like make it shorter if it's possible if it's not like destroying the groove or like the swing or anything so yeah that's probably like one of the best things that i learned like the last year to make my songs even cleaner and yeah and it's usually like this area, I think, like 300, 200, usually a lot of mud and like, yeah, crappy frequencies, I guess. So, yeah, don't like boost the bass <laughs> usually around here. I mean, if it sounds good, do it, but <laughs> I can't remember in one of my older songs. I removed it from Spotify because it was so bad, but I think like my bass channel was like <laughs> it's probably something like this and I was like, yeah, this sounds excellent. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it should have been like, <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. I mean, I was like, my song is sounding so empty. I don't know what to do. I was like yeah let's do it like black summer or what was the kid from australia called 
like this. This is excellent. <laughs> and yeah, sometimes it's kind of weird or not weird, but it's kind of hard to control those frequencies. So I think Gulfos is like super powerful. It's kind of expensive, but I think I, I think I always buy my plugins on sale. So if, you, if it's on sale, I think you really should try it. I mean, just by like cranking 20, 30%, it's kind of, I'm not sure, are you, you, do you know this plugin, how it works or? Okay, oh, cool. Yeah, it's kind of like suit. I mean, it's probably different kind of programming, but I think this one works a bit better on like bass stuff or like, um, like sounds at least where like in the 200, 300 range. Yeah, maybe it's called like an intelligent EQ. Yeah. But I think Sood works a lot better for like uh, like harsh frequencies. I think like maybe one and a half kilohertz. Like yeah, like I mean like the top end, like vocals, cymbals, and stuff. Like really removing this annoying resonance that is kind of hard to cut out with a, like a normal EQ. I mean, it's kind of interesting if you listen to like older songs, like kind of really old, you know, like <laughs> Billie Jean, Michael Jackson or something. I mean, they didn't have like any dynamic EQ or like multiband compressors or like anything. But I mean, the songs are like still sounding kind of really good, like today, at least my opinion, I mean. That's uh, some like professional mixing. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, I think. But even maybe like the version of Spotify now, maybe it's like remixed or remastered. But yeah, probably it sounded super nice for that day and age, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, is there anything else you want me to show you? Otherwise, I think <laughs> I'm probably going to make like dinner. I was like, yeah, let's go. Let's go live on Twitch and see if anyone comes. I was like, I have no expectation because I'm like not a common streamer. So I was like, yeah, we will see if anyone comes. You too. Have a nice day. <laughs> Talk to you soon, man. Bye. <laughs> Let's see.